Don't miss Breaking the Ice, the new series. Premieres Thursday, July 6th on WeTV. Stream every moment, Mondays at All Black. Perfect. Hello, hello. Hello, My name hello. Is Nigeria Chambers of Big O Belt Media. It is an honor to talk to you, Rory, today. Um, not only about your new show, but uh, the legacy that you continue to leave uh, on, on this earth. And, and not only just that, it's very special because the fact that I'm from the DMV, uh, seeing this is uh, <laughs> truly special. And, you know, I, I, I watched the first episode of this. I reached out to, it's kind of funny thinking about this now that you have friends who are now in schools, you know, principals, vice principals and stuff. <laughs> And I and I and I was like, you know, I remember when we were in high school, you know, sporting options were very limited. We had baseball, soccer, basketball, football, and mm. um, amongst the other problems, that was just one thing, especially within the PG County area. And to see not only the mission uh, that's at hand here, and and there's a lot of folks that understands the issues in in terms of inclusion, diversity. Um, mm -hmm. and, 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 and a lot of folks talk about it, but to see you get in the trenches and do it is really a special thing. Um, and, 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 and obviously with your legacy that you, that you have, um, graced us with, with, with ice skating, but to, to give now and pass to these young women, um, and their parents too, which we're going to talk about in a second. Um, <laughs> it's just a very, very, very special thing. And I just wondering for you, did you, did you ever imagine in a thousand years, not the work that you'll be doing, but just also having a network support, having the show um, and, and beyond doing the work humbly, but now the world gets to see you once again on one of the biggest stages, uh, really uh, grace us with, with, with your blessings. You know, uh, it is a blessing and, and I never imagined, I really didn't, you know, like, uh, I, I was telling my husband, I was a little girl that, you know, was, was I was the antenna, um, you know, as a child. So I never imagined that a whole network would, would back me up and say, you know, let's, let's, okay, well, you can show the world what you can do. Because for me, I always, in my mind was like, you know, if people could really see what we do out here and how these kids can take it. Because these parents, the ones that, that I've taught and they grow up to be Olympians, yeah. you know, and, and I've had some, I have some of those, like they can take it from me and, and they expect it, you know, and, and they, and it energizes them that somebody is believing in them so much, because if I didn't believe in you, I'd be like, oh, that was nice. We can do it again yeah. and go through a whole program and then go, okay, there were a couple of things I saw, you know, I've. <laughs> I've been there. I've been that coach. I've been with standing next to that coach. And I love that everybody gets to see now. Okay. Well, that's how she did it. Yeah. <laughs> that's how they, she got them to do it. Yeah. And, 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 you know, and I, I just, I, I just think it's truly special because as I mentioned, you know, speaking to my friends who are, um, you know, within the school systems, you know, I, I it's like, like what, what, what has been the progress over the years? Are we, starting to diversify ourselves with the norms in terms of the sports that we had as options. And uh, one responded back and said, well, you know, we have lacrosse. And I said, well, that's cool. That's definitely a step forward. But he very much what emphasis said, but this is a very, very slow progress uh, process. And I do, mm -hmm. I am aware of, you know, club sports and club teams. Um, but even with that has its challenges because typically how, recruitment or or interest is based mm -hmm. on the demographics of the area and also what the institutions are doing in the area so to take interest into the dmv uh and and, and again gracing us with your presence and 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 now creating generations of figure skatings and and future olympians and medalists is something that i as i mentioned a lot of folks are aware of the uh, of the inclusion um and the diversity issues but there's a few including yourself that's actually doing the work. And I, I just was just so humbled to just see and notice that you drive in the show, you see you driving down the streets of Bowie, Maryland and Laurel, Maryland. I was like, I know these areas. I grew up around these areas and, and knowing that there's going to be a new generation of folks that we're going to be much older and be like, ah, they're from my area. There we go. Putting on for the DMV. It's a, it's a really, really special thing. 
Um, and as much as I want to put the emphasis on the young ladies here, there's also the learning and coaching factors uh, with the parents as well, too, which I'm sure at your age, you didn't think you would be having to, to, to coach grown people as well. So what's sort of been that experience, you know, working with the, these young women, but also the combination of their parents as well? It is. Yeah. You know, those, the parents and, and it, for us watching the first show too, you know, we're in there and we hear them, but we didn't believe that they were really so uh, um, negative, you know? And, and that's a whole turnaround as a coach that you don't have those parents going, Oh, my, my, my kids can do it. They can do it. You know, they're like, I'm not sure. So you, you are trying to grow a championship mind of a grown person you know, and, and hoping that they're going to go home and turn it in, you know, to, to help curve the child's mind. But, you know, it's, it was, it was like pushback, pushback, pushback and getting those kids on the ice, you know, trying to help them create a sanctuary. It took yeah. about 20 minutes to get the parents out of their minds so they could actually focus on their purpose. Yeah. You know, so yeah, we did need more ice time because we had to we had to erase effects. <laughs> um, but you know, you'll get to see that. You'll get to see it because when it comes to competition, then you know the parents aren't around. Yeah. And and I, you know, that's what I'm most interested about uh checking out the rest of the season is seeing mm -hmm. sort of the majority of the adults. I think the kids are rallying together, seeing them on uh FaceTime and and, and meeting virtual meetings with one another, encouraging one another, checking on their status. I think that's great and good camaraderie amongst them and 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 that team effort that you want to build. But if they're defeated as soon as they're off the FaceTime in their own household because their parents aren't motivating them. And, and we know how it is. You know, parents cheer when you're doing good, but there's a lot of work that has to be done. There's injuries. It's real out there. Um, and if, if they feel that level of defeat, I mean, they're reversing everything that you're doing. And I can't right. even imagine the frustrations that you have when the camera's <laughs> off. <laughs> Um, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought it was really special. And I definitely want to give you another moment and hopefully, um, you know, I, I don't want to bring you to tears, but I would love to give you another moment as you talk about the time and the messages. And, and this is, again, you, we talk about generational wealth, but this is also when you talk about um, passing wisdom, because people think wealth is a, is a tangible thing. But when you're talking about the wisdom that is passed through the generations, uh, when you talked about your coach and you said that you get emotional about your coach instilling that confidence and 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 really creating that societal sphere around you uh, of understanding the the historical importance of what you were doing and how you're passing that back down could could you take a moment to to share uh with with the listeners here uh what your coach meant to you and and what some of the the, the messages that you continue to repeat in your head that you also pass to these young ladies well first of all I, I want everybody to know that it was my mother first it was my mother who 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 told me who knew that that this was going to be a journey and of a black child you know and and she wanted to she wanted to be a awoke through it you know and to know that this is what's happening and this is where it's going to lead you and then the coach that that really like did it all for me was actually Mabel Fairbanks and Mabel Fairbanks you know everybody's got to look her up but she stood me you know right into my face and told me you know Rory this is the moment you know and I wanted to quit because it was just too much and you know it was too much for my mother too you know, it just seemed, it was just all overwhelming. And then I was out there giving my heart and not getting anything back from it. You know, when she told me, you know, if you quit, they win. I didn't, I understood from this historian that that is a big win yeah. because this wouldn't be happening right now, yep. you know? And so for me, you know, for everybody, it is, it is the knowledge that is the wealth. Yeah. And, and, and I got some knowledge you know, given to me from from Mabel Fairbanks, from Roberta Flack, from mm. Stevie Wonder. You know, I mean, people that I never thought would would 
but I would I would touch or get to in my life these historians, these iconic people who went through so much more to sit down and and you know Aretha Franklin and sit down with dinner to dinner with her. I got there, and I got I got I got stronger and richer for being able to sit there and and listen to her tell me, baby, you know this is what you got to do, and you know just just break bread with them and and learn and and grow from that so you know i hope that i can be that person to 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 other skaters to these yeah. young these youngins you know coming up and and actually you know i didn't i demonstrate on the ice i'm still yeah. out there i'm still skating you know i want them to know that my knowledge will last a lifetime in your mind and in your body there it is there it is <laughs> I have a couple of more questions I want to get in really quick. Uh, okay. Another special moment for you, having your son involved here. Uh, talk about that. And um, and 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 was this something that you pitched or, or did, did the network know that, listen, this is a this is a family affair. We need them all. We need you all in here. How, how did this come about? You know what? We're Color of Ice Productions and it is a family business. And my son has has been through it and he has had me as a coach <laughs> his entire career. <laughs> so there were times, you know, that, that it was too much for him. Yeah. And the best thing about having my son there when he was too much for all the, the complaining, what you hear from the parents, me, I'm a parent of a skater. Yeah. And my skater looked at me and he said, mom, my skates are too small. I can't skate today. I took my skates off, put them on him and said, go skate with mine. That's the type of coach. And he skated in my skates and he competed mm -hmm. in my skates for a whole season because they fit. Mm. So, you know, he knows, he understands. You'll see him sitting those looks that he's getting, <laughs> that he's given. He's been that skater. <laughs> and he's sitting there thinking, you know, you know, you know, this is my mom. If you get through it, you're going to be an international champion. He's an international champion. Went to skate for another country. Yeah because you couldn't make it so it's just the joy to have him right there by my side that is amazing um two more questions to go here uh the dmv now for a moment i was like, well clearly you got to be from the dmv and to find out that you weren't uh, i believe you're born in either seattle or san diego what san diego San Diego, which is my favorite city. No one needs to know that, but it's absolutely my favorite city. Um, not portraying the folks here. Um, <laughs> but how did you land in the DMV? Uh, was this an opportunity? Was this a, a sort of a, a, a targeted approach here? Um, but by all means, welcome. And you are now a part of the DMV one way or another. Uh, but how did you uh, arrive? Yeah, I wrote, I wrote, I arrived here Um and I, I met my husband, my, my, you know, at, at Chinatown. And honestly, you know, if you go, we're the Chinatown couple. <laughs> okay. So on the internet, you okay? And we were married, uh, we were married, we met uh, in the subway and we yeah. were married on the street. So uh, we stayed, you know, we left for a little bit, went to Houston and then we came back. And we decided, you know, this was going to be the place that, that we brought it all together. And just really a quick note, in Houston, we put together a school, a school an after school program yeah. called Urban Streets. Yeah. And it was uh, for the inner city. It was this team. That's so awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a note here, folks. DMV guys, we up. <laughs> and know that, know that i'll just say before dmv stands for divine motivational visionary i was absolutely gonna let you close with that but that thank you thank you absolutely for knowing i love that i'm not ready to hear the young lady saying i was like okay okay i love that mm -hmm. uh, we definitely gonna have to embrace that um and also there's some merch to be sold right there just just fyi uh mm -hmm. right <laughs> so for my, my final question here uh and, and i don't want to create any bias here because there is a lot of characters uh with, with within your team here uh a moment and whether you want to speak about a few uh who's been some of uh your 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 your, your students shall i say uh that you have just been really impressed with their growth uh, throughout this season and throughout your time, whether it was within the film or not, but who has been some that uh, you just been really impressed from, you know, from start to where they're currently at? 
there's there's a girl in the show named Nylea, and she's actually been the most impressive to me because when I started with her, she came to me right before tryouts, just um, off the cuff, started back into skating. And this girl has just, she's grown as a skater, as a person, you know, you'll see, you'll see her. Um, and actually that's really the biggest growth of my skaters. And, oh, and, and a little girl, Caroline, awesome. she, yeah, Caroline became the swing and, and when people were out she could hit any spot, you know, and you'll see that, you know, come and go as you go through to when somebody gets injured or somebody gets sick or just doesn't show up. <laughs> we have to yeah. change things. These two ladies have to like pop right into spots. That is awesome. Roy, it has been an absolutely an honor to speak with you and again thank you so much for uh what you're doing uh, for this next generation of young ladies what you're doing for the dmv what you're doing for all black women and, and and colored people um and for the world of professional sports uh this is again this is when folks talk about the change a lot of folks are talking but you're 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 doing the walking shall i say the skating here and folks <laughs> you you can check you can check out breaking the ice premiering on we tv july 6th it's been a pleasure thank you so much today Thank you. And join me on Instagram. There you go. Right in the Absolutely. description below, folks. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you so I'm much. Sorry.